Welcome back everyone. I am so excited to be filming this video right now. Today I'm going to be opening up a tin of Upper Deck Series 1 for the last four years. Now you might remember I made a video on Series 2 tins a few weeks ago, but now I'm going to be tackling the Upper Deck Series 1 tins. So I've got 19, 20, 20, 21, and then 18, 19, and 17, 18. So the last four years of Upper Deck Series 1. This is going to be super exciting. Once again, just a comparison video, just going through the years and uh, hoping for some big young guns. Because once again, this is a pretty pricey opening. Back in 17, 18, and 18, 19, you used to get three young guns per box. Now it's only two guaranteed. So the configuration has changed, and we're also going to be getting a box topper here. So let's open up the tin, and there you go. That is awesome. Duncan Keith, Winter Classic Jumbo Card. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's start things off. Here are the odds there on the back of the pack, and let's jump right into the first pack of this opening. All right, so this is the base card for 1718. Pretty nice looking. Uh, Jay Beagle, oh, first Young Guns is coming up, and it is Johnny Brodzinski. All right, so uh, yeah, not the biggest name, but uh, still a Young Guns nonetheless. We are guaranteed three of those in this box. What's nice about Young Guns is there's always the possibility that they go up in value uh, over time. Just like, you know, Jordan Binnington was like 99 cents for ages, and then he just blew up uh, overnight. Oh, no way! <laughs> Young Guns Canvas of Charlie McAvoy. That's a big hit. Wow. Those are one in four tins, those uh, Young Guns Canvas cards. And Charlie McAvoy is a really good name. Once again, a Bruin. I still don't understand why I pull so many Bruins cards. But that is a big hit. Let's go. Oh, this is already uh, going well. I won't spoil it, but uh, in the Series 2 opening, I also got a pretty huge card. So if you do want to go check it out, uh, yeah, there's a pretty massive hit and a bunch of, you know, pretty decent cards as well. Uh, so that's definitely solid. Oh, seems like a base pack. All right. There are base packs in uh, Series 1. All right. So next up. Wow, that is a solid start. Definitely good. All right. Next uh, Young Guns is uh, Nicholas Curdiels. Okay. For the Anaheim Ducks. And just some more base cards. Oh man, that is, uh, that's a very cool card. The uh, Charlie McAvoy. Uh, yeah, he's a really good defenseman. I can't say that he isn't. Uh, but yeah, seems like a UD Portraits coming up. And it's Brent Burns. Usually with the uh, Portraits, unless you hit like a McDavid, you're not going to be getting uh, much return. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're all right looking cards. I don't have a problem with them. Oh, no way! I think we're getting a jersey as well. That is uh, that is awesome. Those as well are one in every four tins. So this is uh, flyer number nine. Is that Wayne Simmons? No, what the heck? Who is that? Ivan Provorov maybe? Yeah, okay. I'll take that. That's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice actually. Ivan Provorov game used jersey card. And uh, the very nice orange swatch there. Put that on top of the young guns there. That is, uh, that's very solid. All right, so uh, halfway through this first tin, and already, you know, a few really good cards. So this is uh, definitely good so far. Next up is a Taylor Hall base UD canvas. It's a pretty nice card. All right, and then just a few more base cards. A few more packs left to go in this first box. Still guaranteed one last Young Gun rookie. Now, this is a Matt's Zuccarello, Shining Stars. Those regular inserts aren't worth much. Uh, they're kind of nice, but they're honestly just filler. They're not, uh, they're not really anything special. Uh, oh, another all base pack. All right. Chara there on the back. All right, three packs to go. So if I had to guess, I'd probably say maybe one more portrait, uh, one more young gun, and then a base pack is uh, what I'm guessing. Uh, seems like, there you go, UD Portraits, and it's Patrick Kane. All right, so uh, that's pretty nice. Two more packs in the first tin, which has already been solid. Now, this is the last Young Guns here, and it is... Is that Logan Brown? All right, Logan Brown. I think he's with uh, St. Louis now, maybe. Former first-round pick. Pretty high pick, actually. I think he was, like, 10th overall. Hasn't exactly panned out yet. But, you know, he could always turn it around soon. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, last pack, and it is UD Canvas of Tyler Sagan. 
That is pretty nice. All right. So that's the first tin. All right, let's jump into the second tin. Now, this is actually the most expensive one out of the four. Now, this is now $75 Canadian. And uh, there are some really good rookie cards in this set. And there's the Elias Pettersson, which is obviously the uh, biggest. There's also Rasmus Dahlin, Miro Heiskanen, former Hab, Jesperi Kotkaniemi. There's a lot of really solid names. There's also some pretty good uh, Young Guns Canvas cards to get. Uh, Kyle Ocpozo, another jumbo card. All right, so let's dive right into the first pack of 2018-19 Upper Deck Series 1. Uh, so once again, three Young Guns in this box, 12 packs once again. But that's all going to change in 1920. So first up is a UD Portraits of Matthew Barzell. It's pretty nice. All right. So once again, we're probably getting two portraits per box. I'd say two base canvas cards, uh, three young guns, maybe a shining stars. And then uh, the rest is going to be a mystery. I think there's a young guns coming up and it is Jordan Greenway. All right. So not the best name, but you know, still pretty decent player. All right. Not a bad Young Guns to get. Definitely let me know after watching which of these tins you thought was the best. In the last video, there was uh, definitely a clear winner, but uh, maybe this time it's going to be a little different. We'll just have to see. So it seems like a rookie commence here, and it's Dylan Sakura. Rookie commence. Not the, uh, the most sought after card, but uh, still pretty nice insert to get. Uh, next up, let's keep on going. I think another base pack, yeah. All right, so lots of uh, base packs in Upper Deck Series 1. Definitely more than Series 2 because you do get the uh, the OPG update cards in Series 2. Those do at least add, you know, a little something. Uh, is this a base canvas? Yep. Austin Matthews. That's not bad. Austin Matthews. Base UD canvas. Wow. Uh, that's a very cool shot there on the back. Uh, very interesting. Not super eventful so far. Uh, it's been okay, but... Uh, yeah, nothing huge. Uh, this is a Samuel Maltabu. No way. Samuel Maltabu, Young Guns. He has been just terrific for Montreal this year. Uh, I feel bad for him because, you know, he's kind of playing alone behind like an AHL defense. But yeah, Samuel Maltabu, he's been really good this year. Uh, that's a cool card to get, especially, you know, as a Habs fan. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, actually. That's a very nice card. So yeah, that's not bad. Pretty happy with the box so far. Claude Giroux. UD portraits. Uh, even if, you know, I don't get anything else in the box, at least I'll have hit a, uh, a PC card. And uh, that always, you know, kind of takes the uh, the sting away if you bust on a box. It's kind of nice to get something uh, PC. Another canvas card. This is John Klingberg. Uh, in a lot of trade rumors recently. Uh, next up, I think there's, yeah, another base pack. All right. So, oh, yeah, that's not what you want to see. Uh, Dalian and Pedersen, you know, two great names, but the Young Guns checklist, probably the weakest Young Gun, just because uh, it's not an actual rookie card. It's literally just, you know, a checklist card. So that's a little disappointing. I wish they didn't take the place of an actual Young Guns rookie. But that's the way it is. Uh, seems like another base pack, so lots of base. Definitely wasn't as good as the other one, but at least there was the Samuel Motabu Young Guns. All right, so now let's transition into 1920. Uh, this is when the format changed. So here we only get nine of the regular Upper Deck Series 1 packs, and there's actually a bonus pack as well included. And it's just a three-card bonus pack with OPG glossy rookie cards that you can only get in these tins. So only two guaranteed Young Guns this time around. And uh, here is the uh, special OPG glossy rookies pack. And actually for 21-22, they've changed the format again and you're once again getting less. It's just a little unfortunate when, uh, you know, they keep changing the format and giving us less. But yeah, that's very nice to start things off. A glossy rookie blue of Ryan Paling. And on the back, there is another blue of Max Jones. And there is a gold parallel here, and it's Dante Fabro. That's not bad. So decent cards, nice little bonus to get at least. Uh, but let's jump into the regular packs for uh, 1920 Series 1. The big young guns in this are definitely Jack and Quinn Hughes. Yeah, there's a few other names as well. I think there's a base pack though, so there you go. The first pack is uh, all base. That's not what uh, I want to see. I want to see some young guns hits, maybe young guns canvas. A jersey card, you know, something like that. 
Uh, next up, I think this might be a Young Guns. Uh, oop, this is definitely a Young Guns, yep. And it is. Is that Connor Clifton? Yeah, Connor Clifton. Another Bruin, so, you know, Boston Bruin luck just continues. I still don't know why that's a thing, but... Uh, yeah, the universe likes to, uh, you know, just troll me and just throw so many Bruins cards my way. And next up, Andrei Svechnikov, UD Portraits, because you do get a lot less nowadays. Uh, another all base, so that's it's a little disappointing to get uh, so many base packs when uh, when you already only get nine. Uh, what is this here? This might be canvas card, yep, and it's very nice. Yasperi Kotkaniemi. Second year canvas card. That's a pretty nice card. At least I am hitting Montreal Canadiens cards in this break. Doesn't seem to happen often, so I, I will take that at least. Uh, another UD Portraits, and it's Pierre Luc Dubois. Uh, yeah, that is hilarious. That is just an amazing photo. All right, three packs to go, so one more guaranteed Young Guns. Uh, probably a Shooting Stars, if I had to guess. Oh, and this is our second promised Young Gun right here. I saw the uh, the back there, so uh, hopefully this is a good name. Come on, let's see. Let's see something good here. It's a flyer. I think that might be Philip Myers. Yep, Philip Myers, Young Guns. Ah, that's not amazing. Uh, I've actually already hit both of those Young Guns, so uh, yeah, not exactly what I'm hoping to get. That's a little disappointing. Uh, Pekka Rene, UD Canvas. And uh, last pack already. So that'd be uh, pretty interesting if the, you know, the cheapest tin out of the four, the 17-18 uh, one, ended up being the best. And yep, all base. So that was, oof, that was not a very good tin, unfortunately. Let's hope for like something huge in here. Alexis Lafreniere, Young Guns or Young Gun Canvas would just be absolutely wild. And it is the uh, same configuration as 1920. So uh, there will be the bonus pack. Wait up. Where's the bonus pack? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, there's supposed to be a bonus pack in here. So five of the regular Series 1 packs. And uh, might be at the bottom here. If I had to guess. Yeah, okay. At least uh, at least we got it. Yeah, that was, uh, that was strange. All right. Let's try out the Glossy Rookies pack first. Let's see if there's anything uh, special in here. Tyler Benson there on the back. Uh, seems like Gabe Velarde, and then the Tyler Benson, and a gold of nice Jake Evans. Jake Evans, that's what I want to see. Montreal Canadian PC hit. That is uh, that is awesome. Let's go. All right, that uh, that kind of fires me up. I feel like this one's gonna be good. Actually, Jake Evans is another young gun in this set. I wouldn't mind hitting you know another young guns of his. Uh, Quinn Hughes second year card, and you know there might be. French variant. Uh, nope, seems like all base. Let's hope for at least uh, a big Young Gun in here. There's also pretty decent names in terms of uh, Young Gun's canvas cards, so that would be, you know, pretty nice to get uh, a good one of those as well. Um, there's Leakins, and then a few more base cards, and a Jacob Slavin UD canvas card. I guess that's from the uh, Storm Surge celebration. It's pretty cool. All right few more base cards. Still looking for the first Young Guns from this box. Oh, here it is. And it is a Kiefer Bellows. That's not bad. Kiefer Bellows, Young Guns, and then a Kale McCarr Dazzlers. That is a nice card. All right. Very nice. Definitely not bad. Oh, another Young Guns already. And I think, I think this is the checklist, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, come on. No. No. That is brutal. Two checklist young guns in one opening is just ah, that's that's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's not what you want from uh, a tin. But actually, I do think there's a bonus young guns here. So uh, let's hope that it's a uh, pretty good name. Come on, it is Mikhail Burdine. No way. I pulled so many of his cards. That is just crazy. To get an extra one is uh, nice, especially when you get the checklist. Very nice Max Patch already portrait card. All right, and uh, two packs to go. Let's just hope for a crazy Young Guns canvas card. That would just be uh, absolutely spectacular to finish this off. An all base pack. Yep, all base, unfortunately. Uh, last pack. Come on, last pack mojo. Let's get something big here in the last pack of the day. Come on, let's see something big. 
think. Oh, no way. Another all base pack. Oh, that's too bad. Still a pretty fun opening. Uh, no incredible hits, but a few decent names in terms of young guns. Kiefer Bellows is pretty good. Uh, these ones are just okay. I do like the uh, Semyon Maltabo one. That's definitely going to the PC. Jordan Greenway is pretty good as well. The jersey is definitely nice. And uh, of course, the Charlie McAvoy Young Guns Canvas card. So there you go. That was a pretty crazy break. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you all next time.